Hardy, uh, what happened uh, last evening? Well, the game started a little like last week with the Patriots getting on the board first. A first quarter touchdown. Imagine that. The shotgun snap is low. May tight has it. It. He's in the pocket. He's pressured. He's going to run to the right. May to Go the kid. outside 15. May to the 10. Get May it. to the 5. May to the end yeah. zone. In for a Patriots Ooh. touchdown. I mean, it's deceptive speed. I didn't think he was going to get there. But I'm telling you, he's so upright when he runs. But the legs are moving. That's a hell of a run. What's your name? Patriots jump out to his 7 nothing lead yesterday at Gillette Stadium as the New York Jets wait, are in wait. town, and Drake May is just doing stuff. You only get six for a touchdown. How okay, they okay well, so they kick an extra point out. <laughs> oh, oh, that because that must be nice. To <laughs> well, it's, uh, do that. a lot but, of times it's considered automatic. Not yeah. for every team. Not for every team. No, for every I'll, team. <laughs> nope. I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> so it was May, and they did have a— they, It's so automatic, they pushed it back many yards years ago, and still, it's automatic for most teams. Yeah. Almost every team. They had May. Uh, they had a guy that seemed to be spying on May on that team, and he uh, turned and he saw him take <laughs> off, and he couldn't catch him. <laughs> I mean, they had a linebacker standing right there. He was he was about five yards behind the line of scrimmage. May oh. took off. He took an angle towards May, and he couldn't catch him. Drake May couldn't catch. And I know Drake May is a really good athlete, but Drake May is not. Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. I mean, you like a linebacker can get it, should be able to get an angle on a quarterback scrambling. Not, listen, he might have picked up a first down, but to like tackle him, you know, seven yards beyond the line of scrimmage, I think is a fair, a fair ask. Yeah. And yeah, you, you wonder sometimes when you, when you get that guy spying on the quarterback and once you get him in open space, sometimes you can see a little hesitancy, especially if it's a big linebacker. It's like, oh, it's still a quarterback. Do I, you know, do I, do I tackle him like a normal runner? Is he getting ready to slide? And I think there is like that, that split second indecision sometimes. That was not the case. No, it's no, just, he was <laughs> flat footed. No, no, no. He never got close enough to, got, yeah. No, he never got close enough to even, and I saw that. That was on the other end of the field, and I saw that. I said, oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. I said, first of all, I didn't know they had this white linebacker guy, but second of all, he is. Because it wasn't C.J. Mosley and it wasn't Williams. It was just some jabroni sitting there. Yeah. Mosley, I don't know if he played a snap M- and was hurt. Uh, Mosley wasn't inactive, but the thing is is that Mosley doesn't start anymore, but he usually ends up playing like a bit, He's but he's not one of their starting linebackers anymore, no. Well, the the Jets had an answer, Fred. I mean, it's early in the game. Rodgers takes the snap. He drops back, goes back to the end zone, and the catch is made by the tight end Conklin, who holds on and takes a hard shot for a Jets touchdown. Freebie. Junk. Junk touchdown. Given to you by the referees in the National Football League. Two horrible calls on this drive and a missed call and an actual real penalty. They're on their game today. Junk. Yeah, the Jets used all their timeouts, and they got bailed on a couple of pass interference calls on that drive, and then, to your point, Fred, uh, missed extra points. So uh, Patriots still have the lead 7-6. Yeah, and you figure who who you're like, ah, but a big deal a point, and then, uh, yeah. and then the game moves on. <laughs> yeah, what possible difference could it make later on? Yeah, I mean, what, what are the chances? Especially <laughs> if Drake May continues to run the ball maybe once too often. May. I can't tell where I know he got hit I guess but I I it that didn't look like a hit that would have it didn't look any like damage. anything on TV either. No, uh, no, and in the replay, it doesn't really look yeah. like anything either. Yeah. So. In the replay, it looks like something that could have been called. Uh, oh, no, I'm not even talking about the call. Yeah, yeah, you could have called it. I mean, the guy dove. and Yeah, and, he, he dove it, at him, it was, it, and it was face mask to helmet. It was, you know. Was it? Because yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. because it... it even in the replays I've been seeing, it, it was close, like but it was. Them. You had to slow it down. It, yeah, you, yeah, you, right. you could see it. If sure you enough. watch football, you don't want that one called necessarily. But I was just talking more about the concussion. Like I know he has a concussion, and I'm not doubting that's when he got it. I'm just, I, it just doesn't. He, it doesn't look like he. Look, they could have called the flag, and I wouldn't have even really had a problem with it. The flag's not the issue I'm talking about. I'm just talking about. I didn't realize. 
that doesn't look like something that it would give you a concussion. In, in real time, it didn't look bad either. Yeah. It didn't look bad. Even on replay, you know, okay, he got him, but it didn't look particularly horrible. Right. Oh. And and he he didn't leave the game right away, um, but he would not long after. Pick up on a first down, easy little push over the middle, but all eyes on that Patriot silent. There goes Drake May into the damn locker room. you got to be kidding He's me. descending the steps across the way. Jesus. That lead to the tunnel to the Patriot locker room. Got to be kidding. And now with the first and ten for the Jets. I don't appreciate the language. Damn locker room. What are we doing? It's Sunday. It's, I mean, what if your kids clean, are listening? Clean it up. Oh, yeah, it's just a beautiful Sunday. You're out going out apple picking if it's not too late. Adam, is it too late for apple picking? I hope not, because I was planning on getting one more round in this coming weekend. Oh, one so, more round. <laughs> probably not. It's How, many, I'm probably all picked How many apples does one need? <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, Hardy, I'm, I'm, if they're not, if they're picked out, I'm going to buy as many bags from the country store as I can, and I'm cold storing those suckers. I'm trying to get through the end of the year with these fresh apples, man. Well, they won't be fresh anymore if you store them. And so what he does is he goes and uh, he bargains with the church. Two bowls of spaghetti for two, two apples. Hey, that's savvy. Yeah, right there. Yeah. He's got a surplus. They got a surplus. Why not trade? At what point yeah. do you go to the church elders and say, hey, you got this third of an acre of land right behind the uh, the chapel here. Why don't you put some apple trees back yeah, here? Yeah, let's do a little uh, soil test and see uh, what, what, what varieties we what? can grow back there, you know? Soil test. <laughs> <laughs> soiled? Hmm. Yes, I can, I can tell if those are really soiled. Well, so now the Jets are smelling blood in the water. And they uh, scored another touchdown, if you believe the uh, officials. Rodgers dropping back, throwing it to the right side of the goal line, and a tumbling catch by Gibson. He's in for what? a score. The Jets brought him in wow. motion. And he made that grab low to the goal line on the near side. Marcus Jones covering for the Patriots, and New York is taking the lead. Here's one of the many things I do not like. That play, if it's going out of bounds... And he bobbles that catch the way he did. It is incomplete. They do not rule that in. But because he's in the field of play and the ball at some point crossed the plane of the goal line, you can bobble it all you want apparently afterward and land outside of the end zone and they call it a touchdown. I do not agree. There is inconsistency mm -hmm. in the way things are called on the goal line with the pylons Anywhere else, it's like a di it becomes a different game when you get close to the end zone. It's a makeup call for the, the play that Fred and I reference every once in a while where the Jet tight end was bobbling the ball while crossing the goal line, and yeah, they the, called it no touchdown. So something Jenkins kid. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. Uh, Even. One of them Jenkins boys from Vulcan. <laughs> no, he, he had a hyphen, hyphen last name. I can't yeah. remember what the first Austin part Safarian was. Austin Safarian Jenkins. Safarian Jenkins. You thank go. you. Yeah, and... Uh, no, yeah, why wasn't that a touchdown? <laughs> he was bobbling the ball when he crossed the plane. Oh, Jesus. Whatever. So he didn't That's... control it to the ground. They called it incomplete or a fumble or whatever they called it. I don't remember. Uh, no, they, I thought they called it a touchdown, and then they reviewed it. They and... reversed it on review. The point The point is it didn't count. That one that you're talking about bobbled. Oh, no, 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 no. The count. one yesterday, I, yeah, I don't know what the controversy was. The, contro I mean... the controversy is it's just an inconsistent way the, the 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 game is officiated when it comes to touchdowns. And uh -oh. most of the times it will screw you this time and help the Jets. So two touchdowns they score, 14-7. Whoops, that extra point miss. Forgot about that 13-7 Jets at the half. Mm. All right. Uh, Marcus Jones would then come out in the second half, give the Patriots a little spark. A high climbing kick spiraling toward Jones. Shield on. He looks toward the sun. He receives. He runs to the right side of the 20. Along the oh, sideline, 25, 30. He's got an opening right there side, 45, 50. A cut left past Allen Come to the 40. On. on his feet to the 30. And he's tackled uh. inside the 30-yard line at the 26. Woo. A saving play by Marcus Jones again dazzling on the return. Looking through that sunscreen. The sunscreen? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the screen on The head. visor. Oh, okay, see. All right. That's, That's what he not, meant. I thought he meant he rubbed the SPF 50 in his eyes. No. All right. Uh, so, by the way, uh, Jacoby Brissett, obviously, in the game for the Patriots now, and um, the receivers continuing to drop passes for him, just like they were for Drake May early on. So uh, they start running the ball a little bit more, and uh, Ramondre Stevenson will get them into the end zone. Jets answer with a field goal, 16-14 Jets. Jets were poised for another chip shot field goal, Fred, mm. until... Rodgers stands in. He's pressured. He's yeah. wrapped up, and he...
and he's sacked by Christian Ellis. There you go. Late break for the linebacker on a blitz, and the Patriots drop Rodgers back outside the 25. You know, you kind of struggle in coverage, let the tight end up to see, but you make up for it on a blitz. Okay, so back outside the 25, 35, 42 yard field goal. Instead of, you know, a 30 yarder, it was more like 42. But 42 is the new 32. I right, mean, it's just... basically a little bit longer than an extra point these days. Nah, he missed that one. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's not going to be on the team today. But, um, yeah, they you, you've noticed now. Rodgers, because the offensive line for the Jets was not bad yesterday, and you'll notice that Rodgers completely immobile, completely immobile. Everything he does is slow. I, it's amazing to me because he wasn't that the first time they played. First time they played, he was getting out of the pocket. He was moving really well, and now he can't move at all. He shouldn't be playing football is what the deal is, is he just shouldn't be playing football anymore. He they, they Never sell your soul to a to one player. In team sports, even basketball, like never sell your soul to in team sports to one player because Agreed. it will never, ever, ever work. It just won't. It's just when you give up the organization to someone. I mean, look at all those Clippers teams where they just gave the organization Brooklyn, away. Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn they gave Nets. it all to Kevin Durant. Who do you? All right, we have you. Who do you want? And it just and you and then and you do the more you do for the guy the the more they lose. I mean, the more you do for him, the more they lose. They bring in all his friends and they all and they none of them mm-hmm. do anything. It's just a, it's a it's a disaster. Go ahead. So after uh, trading field goal attempts back and forth, it's a seventeen sixteen Patriots. Uh, no team would find the end zone again until well into the fourth quarter. Rogers hands it to Allen. He runs it up the middle and he burrows to the goal line and in. He's got the Jets touchdown for the lead. Raylan Allen with his second rushing score of the season. And New York has gone in front with two fifty seven left. They just took it right down the field on you there. Now because you had missed the extra point earlier in the game. You have to go for two at this point, which they did not get. 22-17 Jets. Uh, the Patriots would then drop 15 passes. Well, why didn't they the get the, the two-point conversion, you may ask? Why did they not get the two-point conversion? Right. Uh, please tell. Well, because they had to delay a game on the... on the, And they still went for it from the seven instead well, of well, just kicking No, you it. had to go you for had, it. You yeah. still you had, had to, to go I for mean, it. there was no reason to kick yeah. it. And on the point. TV, this would, have, this would have bugged you, Fred. They said... No, do they still go for two here? Yes. Well, yeah, because there's, the point does no good to you. Yes. You, you go for two if you're back at the 20. Yes. You, yeah, d- d- yeah, that point means nothing. <laughs> are, you un- are you unaware of how the NFL does its scoring? <laughs> yes. That and there's be, a clock also. Yeah, you would, you would want to <laughs> do that. But, yeah, he took a uh, – I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how – I didn't – you know, wasn't listening to the broadcast. I was there. I don't know what happened or how that happened – especially with the 40-year-old quarterback who's supposed yeah. to be like this insanely intelligent cerebral player. The broadcasters were on television were incredulous. What 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 that basically I said what the hell just happened? Why how could you how could you possibly take a delay of game there at this point in the game? I he had, he's got an uncanny ability to uh make exciting moments boring by taking dumb penalties and delay of games and timeouts and anything else he should be he he should still be even with his lack of mobility fred one of the more exciting dynamic players to watch just because of his arm and because of his receivers yes and because of his running yes. back and Brees hall's a good player that kid braylon allen obviously a good player garrett wilson on one side Devontae adams on the other side between you should you between, should race the ball up and down the field with those between four between rogers wilson and adams this should be you know must see tv no no it's not. No, because he no. can't move and and he can't extend plays and he just sits there. I don't know what and I don't know how this I don't know how ten games in or eight games into the season that you I you you excuse it the first couple of games like all right, he was hurt. It's a new team, he's gotta line everyone up. I mean, it's the eighth game of the season. Like get it together, Aaron. Like get it together. Figure out figure out how to do what you need to do. In the time allotted. And then he threw a ball to Mike Williams 10 yards in front of the end zone. And Mike Williams had three guys right in front of him. And they just and they tackled him 10 yards in front of the end zone. So the final scoring drive for the Patriots, uh, incomplete. I, that being said, I, said, I thought the Jets were winning the game. 
Yeah. I didn't think there was oh, any I did. chance. Well, I mean, I did. Uh, if if you are a Patriots fan, and you, this goes back to what Fred was saying, being fatalistic, and you've watched this team since week one, they're not coming back. This team doesn't come back. They have to have the lead. They had a 16-7 lead in Cincinnati on opening day. They blew that lead in against Seattle and lost in week two. You, there was no way they were coming back. You know the the what the Patriots get the get the ball and they're they're going to start their drive and, uh, you know, some of this is on Jacoby Brissett too because the first pass that he attempts to Hunter Henry, he throws at his shoelaces. I'm like, it, that's not Julian Edelman. It's it's the one guy that even watching from the sidelines and from your time playing, you know that's the one guy who can catch the ball on the team. So you put it in his face mask or you put it above his head. You just get it above the waist for starters. But instead, he throws it at his feet incomplete. The next pass, next play, he goes right back to Henry, essentially the same play, and he puts it up top. I'm like, there you go, big fella. That's what you do with him. It's almost as if Jacoby Brissett isn't a good quarterback. <sighs> I, and, well, not only that, but then you try and go deep to Bourne. That's an incompletion. Uh, another incompletion to Demario Douglas. Uh, there's All right, just run the ball a little bit. Get down toward the end zone. Finally, the Patriots are close enough. Brissett hands it to Ramondre. He runs it into the right side. Good. He plows his way to the end zone. And the lead. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a big boy drop by Jacoby Brissett. You've got to give this guy credit. Aaron Rodgers is in disbelief. The Jets have choked another game away. You are now tied with the New York Jets record-wise. And I should give credit to Keyshawn Booty. Uh, Jacoby Brissett did find him on that final drive for a 34-yard pass. He and that caught was, one that after was, dropping two but, others. Uh, seriously, I'm not going to play the highlight because they don't deserve it. The receivers don't deserve <laughs> no. it. They don't deserve any highlights to be played of today. Course. I don't care if that's the one that got them down the field and got them into position to score the final touchdown. You don't deserve Keyshawn, any highlights played today. Keyshawn Booty, who bitched and moaned about having to demand the football. I shouldn't have to demand the football. Then he gets thrown the football, gets dropped. Drops two of them, blat- blatantly bad drops too. Stuff that bounced off his shoulder pads, of course, makes the big play These against Sauce get- Gardner in the final two minutes. Of course. These receivers, they try and like bring the ball into their chest and yeah. in their stomach. Like, I, 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 they, they don't know how to catch it with their freaking hands. You can almost excuse Booty because, uh, A, he never gets the ball thrown to him. But guys like Kendrick Bourne, who dropped a couple of bad ones, you know, Thornton, theoretically, has been in the league for three years but doesn't play. He dropped one early. You know, Drake may put it right on him from 30 yards away on the run, and it bounced off his shoulder pad. These wide receivers actively took turns costing the pay, trying to cost the Patriots the game, and they still won. It's amazing to me that this happened. Just watch it. And look, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about the dynamics and how you coach and drill pass catching, but these guys, they look like they're catching punt, uh, you know, like punts or kickoffs. They cradle stuff. They get, you know, they do the bread basket thing. Like, maybe just go watch other games and watch how receivers put their hands out and catch the ball as it's coming into them. How many of these receivers would be active on any other NFL team? Oh, God. How many of these wide receivers? I've tried, man. Pop Douglas I've, and who else? I've, tri- I've tried. And Douglas would be a fifth receiver on a normal team. But it also leads to, to the question, how were they even open in the first place? With DJ Reed and Sauce Gardner, who was yeah. supposed to be like the best t- corner tandem in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. And supposed to be they good. got Michael Carter the third back yesterday. I don't know how. How is Booty open in the middle of the field? Yeah, how that, are these guys pass? all open yes. in the middle know. of the field? Sauce Gardner, that's amazing. Yeah, well. yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand how that happens. If everyone's so great, and these are all, all pros. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, a big win for the Patriots. Look, after if they would have lost that game, maybe even if they wouldn't have lost, because just the loss, the way they played, probably would have been all right. But the fact that they win. Really takes a lot of heat off of Mayo, who was getting a lot of crap, and at least shuts Belichick up for a week. Now he can just focus his... uh, He can be irate at Woody Johnson, which, if you live around here, is a lot better than him taking shots at your team, which you seem to forgive him for. But uh, big win for Mayo yesterday. A big win for the Patriots. I mean, a gutsy win. They're better coached. Gerard Mayo is a better coach than Albrick. Gerard Mayo is a better coach. He had his team playing with more heart. The team didn't give up. And for that, 
He de deserves some credit. But if you like that clip, and how could you not? Check out more videos from Toucher and Hardy here. Point slightly up and to the left. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. Point slightly down and to the left. And for the latest from the Sports Hub, download at 98.5thesportshub.com.